well, but up towards Catwalk here. Smoke's already tossed in. They've already gotten themselves stuck in towards a cat here. Fozy will be able to, able to make his way up towards Sight, and a great HE tossed in as well. Everyone taking their fights oh. here. So much damage already done, and the HE nice. just rained down Terror. Fozy holding steady is this round going quite good, but there are some wrenches in the system. Yeah, it's actually still a three versus three. QB has spotted the bomb going over towards his B bomb site now, so he's going to be forced to rotate there. You can see a reaction with Fuzi pushing down short and Corey holding this mid angle. I'm just looking at where the bomb's going. Jio is just running around. The Estonian man's on his skates, and um, I'm just trying to figure out the direction the Migra are trying to spot in because it, it seems like Belchinok is just holding down uh, the presence towards middle. But with him falling, Fuzi's gonna, and he also hears them coming up long. I assume now he's gonna be able to get into a position momentarily which could then deny them he sees them crossing long but he doesn't have much support Corey's the only guy at long range and he's been forced off this angle qb will support and fuse everything just flashes nades it's just a, just a hailstorm of everything but it actually will be scrunk the first to die now just weakening the defense one by one fuzi strikes Corey still un he does be spotted does find the frag and puts the advantage in favor of this European squad. Oh, angle held. I just bounce walking right into the crosses, but he misses his opportunity to strike. And Corey has such forward positioning and Gandalf oh. still. The Lear's able to find a frag. Traded out quickly by Corey and baiting out the options continuously. I just bounce. He needs to show this experience is valuable. As Corey looks to turn the corner here, waiting for one shot to pop off here. They're playing the trade game far too well, though. He can't isolate these duels. Oh, perfectly this time it pays off. Two players towards car. Fuzi elevated on this car will neutralize the opponent's author. Molotov there will go a bit deeper. Just looking. Oh, Soulfly still hasn't been. They, they still don't know he's there. So even if Fuzi just Fuzi has to stay alive. If he gets one more, I mean, like, it's just so perfect. His teammates are going to support him. He's missing a few bullets. And Soulfly will just, just about reveal himself and just leaves the Estonian man in towards pits bomb isn't in his graph there's a flank coming in it's looking quite hard for him isolating these duels so tricky oh. you kind of got to expect a little bit of a different outcome the ak has been handed over he spotted two players towards mid doors knows that one is stuck there and okay gets timing a little bit with the pull out of the motor luckily scrunk is here to save him and scrunk uh -oh. will run out of bullets okay a little bit more expensive right now uh qb though He's like, finally, I can get some eco. Huge amounts of impact, and this T side is looking to tumble away. Fuzi, we saw, um, we saw his last game be pulled off, and Fuzi has just done it even better. Tries to get a little bit fancy there with the Molotov, and actually, it will. Okay, we will actually die, but um, you know, it just it's the four versus two. It's it's not looking too ideal. Scrunk with the AWP as well. Um, I said we were going to look for a second door, but I was kind of thinking, like, okay, who's going to be picking it up? Strunk, I guess. Um, and it's just adding a lot more depth to this European Turkish squad. QB with the all long oh. range, it's it's just too easy for him sometimes. It just lands an instant tripwire headshot right there, and uh, we'll spring into action. Your left last man standing. A little one on four action. He's just waiting patiently, but the. Uh, but he has missed a couple of shots here. Can't Ooh. land the flick either. Uh, the bomb guaranteed to be go down. The Amiga will just give them a little bit of an injection, injection of money. And, well, as I said, this is genuinely a round that's winnable. Going one for one here. They're just dwindling down the clock. And I love that. They've jumped down into CT. They've gone into the meat grinder. And it's actually given them success. Fuzi now in a one versus two situation. Pulled out his USP. Trying to go for these long range taps is going to re convert over to that AK. Bomb is planted for short and Belchner on Amiga. Very impressive resurgence on this T side and it's looking to fall just continuously in that way. It's all because of just one round they lost to the short. QB is going to trade out his teammate in B tunnels, but they still are on this deficit and they still have pretty much no control. Working up catwalk here, and good news is there's two players here. Double up on the setup. Corey holding down the line, waiting patiently, but the mm. headshots just never end. Lear finds a follow-up on the Soulfly as well, and an A7 half is about as even as can be, but the momentum has surely swung in the way of Namiga. That's the key distinction. These guys are putting on an incredible T side towards the tail end, and I don't think there's anything that they can say about it. Yeah. 
gone their way whatsoever. The rest of the team bombarding a short. The Idris Balance has killed the long player. It's just going bad to worse from Sangal. That's a 2 p 250 is dead. It's just up to the locks running up short. Got a last ditch effort here, and they're walking into Geo. a lovely crossfire that you, it's so impossible to bypass. They don't expect this player. And towards Goose, now there is some quick trades, but Belcher not going to step up Did here he once again. Leading the charge now towards short, joined by his teammates. Will actually find the AWPer. You've got one here tucked on this bomb site. Did they clear him? Yes, they do. They do line up, however, so a lot of damage being inflicted. Bomb gets planted. A Ooh, they're playing for long. That, that scares me. That scares me a little bit. That's a very bold move, but it works out. Suzy elevating himself, and he catches the timing advantage in favor of Sangal. Three versus five, and now Namiga. Well, it was a three versus five, and now it's a three versus two. Namiga with no kits. Look at Corey's reposition. Oh, I didn't even see Corey behind B. Like, they part for long and Corey. He slipped right underneath this crosshair here. Fozzy's crossing already. Corey, rather, pulled that thought. And they don't even get the call in time. Overwhelmed inside this balance. That's the A site claim. Do they have mid lurks of all? Oh, get out. It's Take them to the second map with confidence. And the B bomb site is open. Fair play. A lot of damage from Forster. But how much can you do when you're by yourself with only a FMAS? Even more damage now for the QB. But uh, with Ida Spallens trying to make a play there and eliminated, it's just not looking good. Scrum, oh, okay. So he spots out a few of the players and does just kind of go the wayside. But you've got Fuzi holding towards T-Spawn. You've then got Geo and Belch not coming through CT. They know these guys are here because of Fuzi holding. So they can have just the rest of these rifles focused and trained towards these angles. Belch not being spammed down a little bit. Will the low HP come into consideration though for Sangal? Or is just counter utility just too good? So, well, Sangal 16 to 8. You're looking to punch back, though. Yeah. Oh, what a shot from Belchnog. I thought that was Foster that hit that, but no. The T side's still trying to follow through, but Belchnog, we hyped him up at the start of the series. He didn't necessarily prove himself on Dust 2. Looking to try on overpass now alongside Ida. But it's a good start for them. So Sangal, they don't get the bomb down, but they will invest back into it. We've seen these Deagles do some dangerous work before. And I just balance. He's hungry. He's hunting them down. He'll do that so exactly. Two quick kills. And the rest of his team are looking to follow in pursuit. But oh, hold on a second. Okay, no. They've got that like, scary for the... It's not necessarily that surprising. But right now, Belshnog, yet again, to be honest, kind of by himself there. He could have got run down. And he does eventually, but not after a lot of damage. I'm an information once again found out here. The utility is a little bit late for it to help out on this aggressive uh, maneuver. Idis Balance finds himself a kill. Belcher not continue to do great work on an island. He's always getting these two for one trades or big info. Just be to their downfall. Three nades pinned. Oh, that's going to do a lot of damage. Oh, no. The advantage now for an Amiga. They got a kill towards short and it's tumbling their way. Fuzi with a tech down on sight. It's all up to him. And, well. Oh dear, that's all I can really say. Corey, just... <laughs> Once again, they are pressuring him. Sharks around the water here. Fountain play from Belgian Knock, but he cannot seem to find the shots just yet. Drunk just farming with the Mac 10. He's even going for some more. Non-armored, and he's actually just got so much cash from that. Runs out of bullets. And a trade? Oh, <laughs> no, you no, see? No. Okay, well... Somehow, again, in a very weird, twisted fashion, the Miga have the man advantage. Skrunk also could be dying with the bomb in T-Spawn. Oh, it does so much damage, and I think the nade will be his. Perfect. Yeah, the nade will be his perfect nade. Uh, look at where, look where Geo is. He's gonna have to turn away because of flash, and he almost lines them up. But Fuzi, he will not miss that one. Ida Spans rotating in down from CT. Belshock from Connector. Corey taking an aggressive stance. And he will be neutralized because of that. Fuzi, though, with a quick trade. Plants in the smoke. Will he expect Belchnock this close? I'm not too sure. Oh, he does. Oh, he does. Sorry, how... They've got a lot of stuff to do. It's not unrealistic for an Amiga to start getting their own momentum and start pushing it in their favor. Six hundred dollars could be nice. No. Fuzi misses that first shot. He had to nail it. QB will trade him out, but at what cost? Soulfly, a bit of a 
Lombard spray, Lonely Warren and him one as well. Skronk, the IGL, just kind of, again, it feels like he's been in this position a lot where he scratched his head like, come on lads, like, how, how is this going so wrong? With 45 seconds left, Namiga are poising to go B. That's finally some success. QB adds one to his tally, and Corey just an awkward angle. And I think with especially Fuzi rotating off the A-bomb site and Belchnok so far up, yes, he's blind. Don't even know if Fuzi saw him. Belchnok's literally on dice and Fuzi's just with a P250 in hand defending against Klineshnikov's. Everything else is just, yeah, it's, I think that's, that, that, that's, that's the map over. Namiga, they're taking us to Inferno and they've ended Sangal's seven map win streak on this. QB with six HP. It's genuinely impossible to win this out now. Yeah, call today, man. Did not expect Namiga to be the team, especially after Dust 2, to take it to the distance here, take it to the third. But man, oh man, did they show up. Belchanok, a completely polar opposite re result from him. 28 and 16 is how he closed out this map in stunning fashion. I dismounts to finish the job. as able that I think it will be um, just overrun. Unless QB hits that very nice first shot, which he does, giving them a lot of space. The flashbangs just a wee bit too early. Corey unaffected by them. It's the first QB now still in consideration. And oh, the molly doesn't spread. He's going to have himself a free kill. One in and it's a chance for a second here. Skrunk taking some fire. Delivering damage back, but they're chasing him in. No armor, though, and so the MP9 going to start to farm up here. So much oh, money oh. in the bank of Skrunk as he dominates the server there and brings things back in Sigal's favor. As a big confidence booster as well. In that scenario, you know, you've got the IGL, who actually did, he saved them quite 80 damage. You're expecting to get a kill, but they've got the stack correct. QB's not really in position, though, towards long with his A1S, and the flashbangs go through. Pit player's still not found, and he's, he's shooting the one high HP player that's fighting him. And, well, the retake will come through. QB's close enough with the A1S. Boozy's still alive in pit. As I say that, he dies. Uh, but the last three remaining players will get smoked off again, and I guess the idea here is just to hold for the exit as you can. Um, and just, yeah, a little bit unfortunate there for Soulfly getting spammed down. Um, what a shot for Midas Balance. He will lose his life eventually, and QB could actually do quite a bit of damage here. But no, he just swings into three. 17 years old. And oh my god. Um, Right, no, stop. You can't, no way is this what's gonna happen. How, okay, this game's way too dangerous. And they've won, like, uh, Corey now left alone in one versus three. Geo's hurt him, and Geo will kill him. Players quickly rotating in, and a push down the middle as well. They're gonna just collapse uh, in, it's gonna be a bat bloodbath on Banana. Uh, but it's favoring the T side, so. So Gal holds steady. <laughs> yeah, okay. I feel like if you're on the city side there and you have the gamble stack and you know it's you know it's B because of Foster, I feel like the one thing you don't want to do is tip blind if he does see them cross and now Soulfly with his M with his Max 10 will be good for the first, but the trades and the manpower is favoring the Mega. The rotations though, they're not there. You can see that both Foster and Ida Spans are playing into what's pit on the A bomb side. The one it is on a pedestal. And to be fair, the fact he gets one there is ridiculous. Fuzi, yet again, struggling to find impact in once again another round. Scrub and QB, the IGL and the youngster looking to try and give Sangal a little bit of hope. And it will just be QB in a one versus two. Right on top of Forster, spots him out the spray. Oh, that is absolutely wild. Finally does nail it. And it's actually I'll smoke towards Motel. They're gonna complete disrupt. Wait, look, I just pants. He peeks in towards middle. He doesn't get the second. Ooh. And Leah as well gets headshot in towards pit. The player in towards mini is doing so much, but he's only good for the first. Three versus three, the retake is in. There's a kit on Idris Balance. There's a little bit of utility, and there's a will. Sangal, can we force it to overtime? Soulfly found a massive entry here. Smoke on the retake. Two bits of utility left to smoke a flash. A kit, like you said, and Idris Balance, but he's low. Gonna be very rough, Gio. Just spamming away. He's gonna be the first to fall. Lovely post plants right now, and it's could this couldn't get any better. Sangal, the resurgence from that two versus four was it? It's gonna put them into overtime. Fifteen to fifth bomb site. So completely neglects Corey unless he goes through a smoke, which he does. Oh, Corey has done huge. Fuzi as well on that bomb site. Goes for one before he gets traded. And okay, it's a two versus three in favor of Sangal. This is a still somewhat of a difficult retake. Very difficult. A side postmans can be 
near impossible to bypass, especially with I just bounce playing around the smoke and has covered Foster shooting so much through the smoke and he's oh. able to transfer it onto Corey as well. So fly, how has he gotten here into a one on two? The covered has offered up from. This is really good. They might catch Sangal off guard, but no. Corey strikes first, still alive. Will be killed from the heavens. QB yet again on that trade. And just this man, he can't die in pit. When he's in pit, he gains like invincibility. One it. We'll be trying to elevate himself above and execute him. They wait. Are they just? Do they still know he's there? How is how is again he's still alive? Soulfly coming from middle, doing so well, and he even gets the third. I just bounced flash off the angle. It's a great flash. Oh, change of pace, Sangal. They've really an inferno towards the day stage just now. Just got a bit faster, but maybe their pace is their undoing. Foster on this bomb site, standing strong. Fuzi in the Molotov in middle. They've heard him. Belchnock knows where he is. He's hunting him down. He wants. That kill, and anyway, though, the A players are sitting tight as a molly on Soulfly. He will Wait. get out of there, stuck in pillar. They come through, the flashbangs are good. Soulfly doubling up. He's just down to Iris Barrett and Belchnock. They finally back. Position. Oh, there he is. Belchnock gonna perfect. just flash oh. off the angle there. Oh. Everyone goes down. He's on an absolute tear. And no one was prepped for this. Belchnock gonna 4K to shut things down. Sangal, B is not open for business. That's actually sick. That is huge. Um, so clean to the B bomb site. Fuzzy, he's the one line defense, oh. and he misses. How has he missed out? Belchnock has potentially just won them this game with that Kliss cream headshot. Skronk and Soulfly, it's all down to them. This whole game lands on their hands. Can they hold strong? And they don't. No. That's GG. That's it. Namiga, they close it out all because of Fuzzy's one or miss shots. How has it come to this? A two on five retake. It's out with the whimper. Singal go if it is it Corey and QB to come up huge. They're starting their utility in, but they know exactly where this is coming. CT's just been cleared out. They're gonna walk into the crossfire here. Walk into the claws of Namiga. And they finish the job finally. 31 to close, but Namiga have pulled off the upset by all odds. It just doesn't feel right in the way they've won, you know? But as in like, as